Extend Soybeans. As farmers, we've been waiting for these beans for a long time, and now they're finally out. But Darren, we still can't use dicamba over the top of beans. <laughs> well, it's the same thing <laughs> that we had with Extend Cotton when that came out last year. Hey, we can plant Extend Cotton that is tolerant to dicamba, but we don't have dicamba labeled for over the top use just yet. And in soybeans, hey, that's the case this year. We've got the label for the trait. So we can actually plant the newest genetics and get them out on our fields right. and try and get higher yields. But as far as weed control goes, we've got to look at what we've been doing in regular Roundup Ready soybeans to this point. All right, so to begin with, let's just talk about these extend beans and what we believe the future is for them. We think that there's a very real possibility that in 2017, over half the soybeans planted in the United States will be Roundup Ready to extend. The main reason why is because the new genetics are going into those, like Darren mentioned. So if you're a farmer thinking, oh, I'm going to save some money and I'm going to plant the older stuff, yes, you can certainly do that. But the problem is, how much are you going to give up in terms of yield? Let's talk about that yield piece. And, and I agree, the new varieties and, and really the last at least five years of breeding have been focused on getting extend varieties that are going to be the highest yielding ones. So uh, I was talking to one of the first guys working on extend uh, in our state, and he said he had the first extend soybeans planted in the ground in 2006. He said, so we've had 10 years to sort out what are the best yielding genetics that are in the extend cross. And he said, we've got some really good ones now that are better than anything else that they've seen on the market. Uh, so when we look at Roundup Ready to Yield, that was a big jump forward uh, in terms of how they were putting the genes into the plant and, and how the yield was expressed. Uh, and we really didn't see the yield drag that we saw at the initial Roundup Ready trait. Now we've got this new extend, so the question of course is, well, is there any yield drag with this one? We haven't seen it. We, we had a lot of extend beans across our farm last summer. Uh, I've looked at plots all over the country of Roundup Ready to Extend soybeans, uh, and from what I've seen, they yield with or better than the Roundup Ready to Yield varieties. And, and to me, well, if I get more yield, and I've got the new trait uh, that I'm hopefully going to be spraying dicamba on soon, that would be great. Uh, but you know what, even though you can't spray dicamba in the crop this year, there's still ways you can use dicamba on your farm to fight tough weeds. Here's the thing I like the most. Now we can go around all our field borders and spray dicamba. Think about where all the weeds come from. It's the ditches, it's the fence lines where the weed control isn't good. And a lot of guys say, well, I don't want to spray 2,4-D or anything and possibly damage my crop. Well, now you don't have to worry about it. You can spray dicamba, Banville, or Clarity. That's what we did on our farm last year. It was amazing. So now we had everything clean, not just the fields. And now we're going to have a lot fewer weeds blowing into our fields. That's really the thing I'm most excited about or I'm almost as excited about the burn down opportunities. So you can go out there and spray a full rate. And I'm not talking a pint, I'm talking a quart. Okay, if I can go with a quart per acre, we do this a lot in the fall, and I'm telling you what, a quart per acre wipes out everything. You tell me any weed that a quart Brother. per acre isn't going to kill. I mean, for that matter, grass even. Nah. It's, it's nah. not gonna be it's not gonna be perfect <laughs> on grass, but I'll bet you we get 60% control I'm glad, on I'm grass. glad you're excited. The, the whole well, thing I is am. you, can, you awesome. can add Roundup to it very inexpensively and kill 100% of the grass, other than any that may be Roundup resistant, uh, which there are very few around the country that are. There are a few. Yeah, but hey, let me finish up on this burn down thing. You've got to make sure the weather's warm, okay? We've tried spraying dicamba when it's 50 degrees out in the spring. Doesn't work. Just like when we've tried spraying Roundup in the spring when it's 50 degrees. you got to let the weather get warm. Now, we don't have a nighttime temperature cutoff like we do with Roundup. Uh, we'll, we'll continue to refine that over time, but I would just say if you can get a day where the temperature is 70 degrees, that's a good day to spray dicamba. So if you're holding out hope, well, maybe I'll plant them and, and maybe dicamba is going to get labeled in time for this season. Don't count on dicamba getting labeled in crop. What you can count on, though, is getting great weed control pre-emerge. We've been talking about our three pre-strategy for years now. So we're talking about using one of the yellows, like Trefland, Sondland, or Prowl, Metribuzin, and then one of the PPOs, Authority or Valor. When you use all three of those products as your pre-emerge program, we're going to control 99% of the weeds and, and do a great job. Now, we're not going to get every weed season long. You're going to have to come back post. And when we're doing this pre, think about it. None of those options can be used post-emergent soybeans. So we haven't taken anything off the table. All your options are wide open. So you still have Flexstar on the table if you want to use that. 
Uh, you can use Cobra, you could use Cadet. There's a number of products post-emerge that could be used to help your Roundup out where we've got Roundup resistance. All right, so once again, you know, with Roundup Ready to Extend here, we're super excited. We just think this is going to be a great weed control option in the future. And even today, being able to spray your ditches, fence lines, everything else, you can you can definitely do a burn down. Just follow the label in terms of the burn down as well. But it just opens up so many possibilities in soybeans, and we are excited about the yield. So we would just encourage you to start taking a look at these beans because this is the direction that a lot of the market is going. Well, one of the weeds that the new Extend system could help you out on is our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed?